What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Themes and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a mega menu into your WordPress website for free, okay? So let's get started showing one mega menu example. This is the Adidas website, okay? So if you go to the woman, man, kids, say you can see this amount of links, amount divided in columns, okay? And organize it. And this is just one of the amount of examples of how mega menus can be useful for your website, especially if you are using, for example, an online store or have many, many items and sub items, sub menus under your navigation menu. This can keep everything organized and share all your information on your site, okay? In a beautiful way. So let's learn how to do this in our WordPress website for free, independently of the theme that you are using, okay? But before I can continue, please, Take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. In my website example, I have this about and under the about navigation menu, you can see a lot of items, okay? A lot of sub menus. And I would like to organize this in a better method, okay? So how to do this is what we're gonna learn in this video. Let's get this started. First of all, go to WordPress dashboard and before I can continue, please subscribe to the channel, share this content with a friend of yours, do a comment, and make sure that you that you activate the notifications because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics in order to use internet on your site's favor, okay? So let's continue. Go to your WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, and go to plugins and click on add new, okay? Into the upper right corner, we're gonna review the keyword and next to it, search plugins. We're gonna type Max Mega Menu, okay? And this is the guide that we're looking for. Max Mega Menu, click on install, click on activate. This is gonna redirect us to the plugins list, a list where we can see all of the currently installed plugins on our WordPress website. And from here, we can start playing with the plugin, okay? And if you review the left sidebar of menus of your WordPress dashboard once again, you can see a new item on it, okay? Normally it's next to settings, call it Mega Menu, click on it. The very first thing to play with, it's the menu location, okay? So, I have only my, primi my primary menu. If I go to appearance menus, I only have the primary menu. This navigation menu right here is my primary menu. Most of the WordPress website have this menu set. And this is the menu. If you want to learn how to create a menu, just go to YouTube and search for Visual Moto Menu. And you're gonna be able to see a lot of tutorials from us explaining how to create and customize menus, okay? After this, we have activated this plugin to work on our primary menu. We'll most enable it, okay? So click right here. If you're not, it's click it yet. The event, you can configure the event the effect, the effect for mobile, and the theme. The theme is the default, we can customize this later. Save change. We can add other menu locations according to the amount of menus you have on your WordPress website, but this changes according to your theme. But if you want, click on add another menu location, okay? Now, the menu theme, okay? We most configure this because in a lot of cases, when we install this plugin, it tends to broke our menu up in my case, it's not because I already configured this into a previous installation to test, but if yours changes the color, for example, go right here to the menu team, menu bar. You can customize the H, the background. As you can see, the background for my case, I configured a transparency, okay? To not have this conflicting with my team menu background, okay? So this is already dark, so no need for much things. After this, we are ready to, um, let me go back right here. We can configure every single part, okay? Every single part of our menu. So no needs to worry, you can play with a lot of times. You can configure every single part. There are a lot of options. For example, the mega menus itself, the float menus, the mobile menus, and the custom style in the case that you want to apply some CSS codes. After change made, make sure you hit the save change. And now let's go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, menus, and start the fun. If you go to the about page, as you can see, the about, it's the main menu, and we have a lot of sub menus under it, and I would like to organize the sub menus. And how to do this? 
If you hover now the about eating from your menu, you can see a new option called Mega Menu. Click on it. As soon as you click on it, you have a lot of options. Let me delete this one just to So, as you can see now, I have organized the menu. So I have only one column, okay? Get, taking one third for the 12 columns that we can have on our menu. And we can organize this. Imagine that I would like to have two columns to separate my menus. So I'm gonna click into the add column, maybe three columns. Every column gonna have their own, their own contents. So. I'm gonna separate the menus, just drag and drop the content. And into the third column, I have only this one. Change our save it. Let me save the menu right here just to make sure. And let's review the test, okay? As you can see, we have three columns, okay? Separating our menus. Of course, we can change this in the way that we want. What else we can do? Let's open it. We have settings. We can, for example, hide some eatings on mobile. We can change the position. For example, it's all to left. We can move to top or right. For example, the icon position. We can change the icon in the case that I want to apply some icon to your menu. And what else we can do? We can, for example, we can, for example, create a new column. And for this new column, we can go to search for widgets and add our recent posts, for example. So go right here, drag this, drop to this column. We can click into this config icon, save change. Now let's save the menu and check the results we got. As you can see, we have our recent posts displayed on our mega menu what else we can do let's open it up once again if you don't like this just click into the config icon and delete okay i think i'm gonna delete this column as well and i'm gonna be adding another thing some image for example so drag this drop to this column click into the config icon add the image what kind of image we can for example be adding this image right here this is just one example okay so we can apply some link to the image in the case that you need hit the save change now let's review the results we got here is the image to our menu Simple, easy, and effective. And what happens if you apply sub sub page? Let me show you one example. I'm gonna close this, and for every page like this, I'm gonna be creating some sub pages, okay? Just like this. So we have the first level, the second level, and the third level now. Let me do this. Show this one right here. Save change and let's reveal the results we got. Can you see? It's most looking like Adidas menu now, right? And this is what happens. You can organize the menu in the way that you want, applying columns, widgets, and many more options. And of course, if you don't like these colors, if you don't like this size, you can always come back to the mega menu, menu team, and customize the mega menu for of course you can customize the size the padding the borders the colors from the widgets the fonts the backgrounds and all of the parts of the menu are fully customizable according to your site purpose your site needs and your brand colors and that is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question don't forget to check out our Borders WordPress plugin in order to gain more widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg Block Editor. 
It's completely free and gonna give you pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, simple, easy and effective. Moreover, in the case there are needs of the best free WordPress theme, go to our WordPress dashboard appearance themes add new, search for Enzu WordPress theme, click on style and activate it, it's gonna give you amazing menu customization options, extra features like live search and many more pro features that not even some premium themes offer and all SEO friendly and lighting fast. And as a final note, see in the case that the right needs of your site up and running faster with our full support, premium blocks, premium templates, unlock access to our pre-built websites library that you can import with a single click, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and go premium. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you later. All the best.